Hi everyone, my name is Jenny Hayes, I'm a PhD student from the University of College London and now at DeepMind and today I'm going to talk a little bit about this new technique called randomized smoothing to um, certify that an input is robust to uh, adversarial perturbations within some LP norm. Most recent research on uh, certified guarantees of robustness uh, to adversarial examples have focused specifically on the L infinity norm threat model. And they have also focused on um, cases where we can assume that we have white box access to the internal parameters of the model, so we can inspect the internals of the model. Uh, however, new recent research by Lecoya and others has shown that um, a new technique called randomized smoothing can find um, quite large areas of certified robustness with respect to the L2 and L1 norm, um, assuming only black box access to the model. So the way that randomized smoothing operates is as follows. We have an input, for example, of a panda, and when we want to certify uh, that this panda is robust to some amount of adversarial noise, we create n copies of this, of this, of this input, so in this case three. And then we add uh, noise to each of these inputs from some distribution, and then pass these each to, the to a model. The model then gives an output that is somewhat different each time because we've added a different amount, different amount of noise, and then we take a vote. And if this vote, um, the majority vote says that this, uh, the majority vote is uh, panda, then we classify this input as panda. So randomized smoothing uses uh, concentration arguments, um, concentra concentration of, cl of classification arguments to um, prove that an input is robust to adversarial noise if these, if most of these inputs agree on classification. So Kaolin, Lukoya, and uh, Lee focused on using Laplacian and Gaussian noise to prove that we can find certificates in the L1 and L2 norms. And so in this paper, what we ask is, do other types of noise lead to different certificates? So in this work, we use the Li et al approach um, to randomize smoothing. Uh, so it gives us a really simple procedure to find uh, robustness guarantees. So a simplified step-by-step um, -step, uh, procedure to find uh, certificates is as follows. First, we find a lower bound on the divergence between two dis multinomial distributions that disagree in some index, top index. Uh, secondly, we find a closed form solution for the divergence between um, X uh, and uh, so with some Gaussian noise added to it and X prime with some Gaussian noise added to it. And usually this uh, closed form solution, it can be expressed in terms of the L2 norm distance between X and X prime. And then using one and two, we can find a robustness certificate. Please see uh, the paper for more details. Um, so in this work, what we do is, instead of using uh, Gaussian noise, we use generalized Gaussian noise. So specifically, generalized Gaussian noise has an additional pr uh, a parameter s, which is a scale. Uh, it scales the den density function. Um, using this generalized Gaussian noise, we notice that we can find the um, um, an expression for the, dis the, the uh, KL divergence between X with some generalized Gaussian noise added to it and X prime with some generalized Gaussian noise added to it. And this is given by this complicated looking formula here, but what's, what's important to notice is that we can, this uh, this this uh, KL divergence can be expressed in terms of the uh, LP norm distance between X and X prime. And so the uh, this naturally leads to uh, certificates in the LP norm. And so the next question we should ask is, well, does this certificate um, give us any um, non-negligible um, results for large LP norms? Sadly, the short answer is no. Uh, we can't get non-negligible certificates in the L infinity, infinity norm using uh, generalized Gaussian noise, uh, specifically using the KL divergence. Uh, this is because um, the KL divergence between these two values, x and x prime, when the Gaussian, generalized Gaussian noise is added, uh, is expressed in terms of uh, the LP norms, LP norms between these two values, these x and x prime values. But we have to account for each uh, norm smaller than this s value, the scale value. And so as s approaches infinity, we have to account for more um, norm values. And if we want it to be smaller than some 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 value, then this this naturally shrinks to to zero. Um, so this is the this is what we show here in these three plots. This this is, is this effect. What we plot plot is the certified accuracy. So this is the fraction of the test set um, for both C5 and image debt that can be certified as robust um, for uh, a given amount of um, and noise. Um, so firstly, for the L3 norm, we can um, certify values. Um, are approximately 40% of both the ImageNet and CIFAR test set um, for L3 norms of around 0.3. Um, for L4, this drops to um, below 0.3, and for L5, this drops to well below 0.1. Um, and so as the LP norm increases that we want to um, certify a, a robustness in, the certificates become weaker and weaker. Uh, and the recent work by Kumar and co-authors have also shown that the randomized smoothing may be unable to certify um, certify inputs in the L infinity norm. So with that, uh, I'm sorry to um, 
end on a perhaps a sad note but uh, thank you for listening to my talk and please email me or talk to me if you have any further questions thank you